live from the Ferno Experience Center. The Experience Center is new for us, and it's a simulation environment where we can recreate a variety of real-world EMS scenarios. We have a full-size ambulance, stairs, and other terrains and environments where we can recreate many of the situations you find yourselves in every day as an EMT. You're welcome to come and visit the Experience Center for yourself here in Wilmington, Ohio, or you can take a virtual tour through a webcast just like this. For more information on how to attend, just contact your local Ferno sales representative. Now before we get into our webcast, I do have a few items of business to take care of. We're going to be broadcasting for about 15 to 20 minutes today, and we'll be taking your questions toward the end of our presentation. Now, you can see us and hear us, but we can't see or hear you. So please use the chat feature on your webcast interface to send in your questions, and we'll be answering them. Now at this time, I'd like to invite Chris Turner, our Director of Sales for the West Coast, to come in. Chris, good morning. Hi, Jerry. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you? Good. Good. Chris, I'm really excited about the, the Power Tracks. It's a great new product that allows you to go upstairs. And Chris, I was hoping you could tell us what excites you about the chair and what you're hearing from customers about this product. You know, it's a good question, Jerry. We've, uh, when we first came out with our Easy Glide Track stair chair about seven years ago, the one question that customers would always ask us is, how do I get a patient up a flight of stairs? And, uh, and up until now, there really hasn't been any options. So just seeing the customer's eyes and, and knowing that we are fulfilling and, and, and bringing a solution to their needs out in the field has been fantastic. So the feedback has just been great so far. That's great. Well, I think everybody would love to see the chair in action. So why don't we uh, go ahead and show people how it works? Great. Now I'm going to invite our product manager for the Power Tracks, Jonathan Lim, to come in. Good morning, John. How are you doing? And John, you get to be our patient this morning. Good luck with that. And we're going to get Jonathan restrained for safety. Now, Chris, I understand this is really easy to go upstairs. Is that correct? Yes, Jerry. All you have to do is just tilt it back and push the button. OK. I'm going to take the wheel locks off. We're going to tilt it back. And simply let the tracks do the work. Chris, that was really easy. I was not doing any lifting. I was just helping maintain that angle. Were you doing any lifting? I wasn't doing anything either, Jerry. Great, great. Now, it's, it's just as easy to come down the stairs. Is that oh, right? absolutely. So what we'll do is we'll tip it back, push the button on the track, and again, allow the track to do all the work. Wow, that really was just as easy. Now, I understand, Chris, that this has a, a, a built-in brake, so if you're going upstairs and you need to stop and take a rest, the, the chair will hold itself in place. Is correct. That correct. It does have a brake mode to it, so as soon as we start to go up the stairs, and let's show that real quick, we'll tilt, tip it back. So I can actually stop it. And I'm not holding anything. Are, are you, you're really not holding any weight, no, are you? not doing anything. Great. Let's continue on up. Now, Chris, tell me, how much weight will the chair take up the stairs? How, how heavy a patient can we carry? The weight capacity of the chair is 500 pounds. Great. And uh, how is the chair powered? What are we using? The battery is actually a Milwaukee lithium-ion 28-volt battery. OK. And, and how many flights of stairs can we expect to get out of one charge on a battery? You know, Jerry, we've actually tested this up to, uh, we use a 250-pound patient and tested up to about 20 flights of stairs, and, it's, and it just performed perfectly. Wow. You know, I've got a personal story on that. We uh, were doing a video shoot with the chair, and we spent about two hours going back and forth up and down stairs during that video shoot, and, and we never had to change the battery during that time. So I, I know it does really perform well. Oh, it does great. Great. Now, this is a great package. We can, uh, a customer can buy the Easy Glide and the Power Tracks together. But if I'm an existing Easy Glide user, can I upgrade? Oh, absolutely. We allow our customers that have the, currently have the Easy Glide stair chair that we do sell a retrofit kit. So those customers can actually go and install those them themselves out in the field. Great, great. Well, this is an exciting product. I really love these features, Chris. W what else can you tell us about the chair in terms of accessories or other features that are important? You know, a few other nice features with this product is we also offer a IV pole. Um, we also offer a headrest that's optional as well. Uh, the idea, the concept with it is let's take all those things that we're traditionally carrying 
put it on the chair because, again, with the power and having this battery, we don't have to go and lug it up a flight of stairs anymore. Great, great. Well, let's show our, uh, our audience uh, how the chair comes down one more time. So what we do is we just start to tip it back. Just use the power and head all the way down. Fantastic. John, we're going to go ahead and let you uh, come out of the chair. Jonathan. And at this time, we'd like to open up to questions uh, from our audience. Again, if you have a question for us, please use the chat feature uh, to send in your question. Also, if you'd like to see the chair close up, if there's a detail you'd like a little bit more information on and, and get a better look, we're happy to have our cameraman take the camera off and, and come in closer to the chair. So include that in your question as well. So I see we've already got some uh, questions coming in right now. Our first question is from uh, Kevin. And Kevin would like to know what colors are available for the chair. Chris, can you tell us? Sure, Jerry. The, the color options for the chair are red, blue, and for international, we also offer a platinum color. OK, great. And uh, I see another question here from uh, Jim. Tell us a little bit more again about, the, uh, about what battery we're using and what the availability of that battery is, where they could purchase that. The battery that we're using is a Milwaukee battery. It's a lithium ion 28 volt battery. Uh, we're using that because it does not have a memory. It loves to, uh, uh, to be charged and does a quick charge. Uh, it's fantastic technology. The battery is actually available uh, at different commercial retailers. Okay, great. Uh, it looks like Mike has a question, and Mike is asking, can I use the chair in a, in a manual mode? Is that available? Yes, you can actually use the chair in the manual mode. So if there was ever sort of uh, a need to Say you forgot the battery, for example, you could actually go and, and use the chair in the manual mode, and it would be just like any normal track stair chair. Great, great. Now, uh, another question here from Tim. Uh, he's wanting to know a little bit more uh, about the COT care program and if, uh, if this chair can be main maintained and the power tracks can be maintained through the COT care program. Yes, it can be maintained through the COT care program. As far as the retrofit kit, that is something you don't have to be COT care trained or certified to be able to go and install that track. You can do it on your own. Great. I'm actually going to invite our cameraman to uh, take the camera off and come in close. It looks like we have a question about the, uh, uh, about the control mechanism, and, and uh, someone would like to see a little bit more detail on how it operates up close. So Chris, if you could uh, show us that. It's pretty simple. We have one button to control the stairs to go down, another button to control the stairs to go up. It is push sensitive, so I can make it go slower if I'd like, or I can make it go faster if I wish as well. Fantastic. And a, uh, another question here from Brent. Uh, it looks like he'd like to see all the surfaces on the, uh, on the stairs. So if we can uh, maybe get a close-up on, uh, on the stairs. Uh, this will go on a variety of surfaces. Uh, Chris, tell us about carpets, linoleum, other surfaces. Or are there any issues with any kind of surface? You know what? We haven't had any issues with it at all. We've actually been able to, um, to do demonstrations, luckily, on a number of different types of, of, of environments, whether it be concrete stairs, almost the same type of uh, metal staircases used at, at fire training facilities, carpeted stairs, uh, wooden staircases, and the tracks have performed perfectly. You know, I, I was talking to a, another customer as well for a story on that, and uh, they said that they had tried it out uh, in an area where it was concrete steps, and the concrete was in really bad shape. It was broken and brittle, and, uh, and the power tracks went up that surface.